In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite plays from the Running Gun Playbook in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, you've never seen any of my content before, what I do on YouTube is I break down how to get better at Madden via offensive and defensive tips and tricks every single day on YouTube. So we post new videos every day at 2 o'clock, at 4 o'clock, at 6 o'clock, and at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And we also live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, answering your questions and basically playing Madden with our community. So if you want to get involved, if you want to uh, catch the content, all you got to do is hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Now, uh, unlike Twitch, it's actually free to subscribe on YouTube. And so research shows that most of the people that watch my videos are not actually subscribed. So if you would do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button, I really think that you're going to benefit from it because that way you're never going to miss um, one of these important uploads. All right, guys, so I want to break down this play from the Running Gun Playbook. The Running Gun Playbook is kind of fun, um, but it's also really, really effective. You have some different things like the Wildcat. You have um, the Full House, which we talked about earlier. You have the Weak Close Flex, which is a really, really good formation. But what we're going to be talking about today is the Gun Doubles. And this is, in my opinion, one of the better Gun Doubles in Madden 21. Now, really quickly, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and kind of do a popular adjustment that most people will do out of the nickel 335 wide defense. And they will put their zone drops at 30 yards for their curl flats. So if they're playing curl flats, it's going to help with them stopping um, some powerful routes. Now that's where we're going to insert this play right here, PA zone read. This is one of the best plays stock in Man 21. And the beauty of it is it comes together with a very nice little inside zone read option. And you also have these little jet touch passes and fake jet pass powers that you can kind of mix in um, to this to this offense. So you can have the jet touch pass, you can have the jet, uh, you can have the um, the uh, jet pass fake zone you can have the inside zone read option as well all of these in your audibles but you can basically use this little crossing route play as a very very good little base play from this offense now really quickly i want to break down the routes that you're going to see as you can see right here lazard is going to be not quite on a drag he's a little bit more on like a little slant basically a little crossing route your tight end is going to be on a, a, a traditional drag route but what's really 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 cool in my opinion from this play is you have this deep crossing route from the outside receiver. It's one of the only plays in Madden that has a deep crossing route from the left receiver, but it's the only play in Madden that I know of that has a deep crossing route from both outside receivers. You'll see that this route to Funches can be smart routed. So if I smart route it, you'll see it'll go a little bit more like a skinny post. If I don't smart route it, it'll be a little bit more like a deep cross. But literally my only adjustment to this play is to either block the running back or to put him on a block and release pattern or to put him on a swing route. That's literally it. I personally like to just block him. Uh, I think it works best with the entire progression of the play. But basically at the snap of the ball, what we're gonna do is we're gonna read these quick drags. Now one of these quick drags will typically be open, especially if they're not playing hard flats, right? Most people are gonna be playing those curl flats back at 20 yards. So you're gonna be able to hit these routes. Uh, you're gonna be able to hit these routes really, really quick to the sideline. As you'll see here, this drag on the left side, once again, just rat catch it up field. If they're not playing hard flats, you're going to be able to hit those um, late in your progression. Now you might say, well, what if they're playing hard flats and what do I do, right? Well, if they're playing hard flats, then you're going to have a little bit of a formula. What you're going to notice here is first and foremost, these routes are going to come open really, really quick early in the middle of the field. Most of the time they are going to user this route, but I just want you to be aware of this because one of the most important things for this play to work properly is really for you to take advantage when the defense gives you that throw right there. That little five yard drag route is so, so important to make sure that you're taking those consistently when you're running this play. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna force them to hard flat on both sides. And what you'll notice here is these deep crossing routes, especially if you have a gunslinger quarterback, I highly recommend having a gunslinger quarterback um, this year, really if any kind of passing scheme you wanna run. But what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to back the ball up a little bit, give myself a little bit more space, and show you how this is one of the best plays stock in the game. And while I'm doing that, I want to highlight my text message membership. Now, for those of you that don't know, I have a text message membership. It's completely free for you to sign up for. And basically every single week what I do with it is I break down different Madden 21 um, full schemes. We're talking like Big Nickel over G, the full Big Nickel over G defense, or we're talking like the full gun bunch from the Carolina that you see a lot of pros using in the MCS. So I take like 
high level schemes. I give you the entire scheme in a video format. Uh, and basically the only people that are allowed to watch those videos, they're kind of privated on YouTube, but the only uh, people that are allowed to watch those videos are people that have a link. And so every single week I sit down and I sent out a link to those new videos with uh, from my text message members. So for you to sign up, it's very easy. All you gotta do is text me. My phone number is 812. 216-3644. It's in the top left-hand corner of your screen. It's also in the description of this video. So just shoot me a text. And again, we release new ones every single week. We've got about 10 schemes right now uh, in our playlist. The Gun Bunch, the Gun Y Off Trips Pass, the Ace Slot Offset, the Split Close, the Big Nickel Over G, as well as many other full schemes. So, uh, and all of them are high level. All of them have been ran by professional Madden players and tournaments and things like that. So if you really want to get better at the game, I would highly encourage you to take advantage of this opportunity. You get really, really good, I mean, really, really good material. And literally all you have to do is just text me. So uh, go ahead and shoot me a text right now while we're finishing out this video and let me know that you want to sign up for those free schemes. Okay, so now the next thing that's going to happen is that people are going to start basically purpling both sides. They're going to put them at that 20 yard mark. So you're going to see something like this. A lot of this coverage right here, you're going to see a lot of Mabel coverage, right? It's one of the toughest coverages to beat in Madden 21. It's what everybody really is running. Uh, and what you'll see is, again, these this middle of the field is open. But what most people are going to do to take away the middle of the field is they're just going to user the middle of the field with their you know with their middle linebacker from this defensive look and so that creates another window uh, kind of a, a, a different style that you're gonna have to play with this but what you'll notice here is I can throw these crossing routes behind those 20 to 25 yard zone drops which means that they're gonna have to really drop them back even deeper and that's gonna leave them vulnerable to this route right here to Lazard this is why occasionally what I'll do is I'll put that running back on a swing route and the reason why is because if they do something like that. So if they're running Mabel coverage, with this running back on a swing route, you're going to see he's going to pull these guys out of the way. And I'm going to be able to hit Lazard as he comes across the formation as a wide open little cross or a little quick read uh, for my offense. Now we're going to get into this uh, man coverage uh, meta that a lot of people are running here in just a moment. But what I want you to also notice is if you take a look at this play, this crossing route on the right side, you see he's kind of on like a deep post route. And what's really crazy is if you wait, 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 you can kind of get this in behind cover three sometimes. Can't always do it, but you can kind of get it in behind, especially if they um, do different things. Now, another thing that I wanted to highlight really quickly for you is one of the major things that I get a lot when I face Mabel coverage is they're gonna deep half these safeties, right? They're gonna put them in deep halves because in their mind, this prevents them from getting beat deep what you'll notice with Devonte adams route because he gets over those flats you'll notice that the deep half is going to completely ignore him and it's going to basically be a 20 to 30 yard or i'm sorry a 30 to 40 yard laser that you can throw against that coverage so if they start deep halfing on the outside that's not going to be the answer it's actually going to make it more open for you to be able to throw this ball um, to Devonte adams and then the last thing that I wanted to point out is this route to Devin Funches here. Again, don't ever forget that you can you can smart route that route and make it go a little bit deeper. So if you're in a situation where they're running cover three on you all game, you'll see right here, you can kind of try to get this over the top. Now again, it's not something you want to run every, it's not something that you're going to try to hit over all these other reads. I just want you to know that it's an option um, if they start doing you know some different things that might take away the route to, De to uh, Devontae Adams. But you'll see, I mean, he just gets really, really deep in behind it. And if they, what, what, what seems to happen to me a lot, at least this is kind of the coverage that a lot of people run, is they might run um, basically like a cover three on one side and a cover two invert on the other side. So they might have cover two on the right side, right? But on the left side, they might have cover three. Um, this outside third will sometimes, it doesn't happen all the time, okay? But he will sometimes, if you just wait on him, you'll see right there. If you have like Aaron Rodgers or something, and they run cover three on that left side, you see you can get a one play touchdown against the cover three. This is coming back to kind of my original point about this, where you can potentially get a huge play from just smart routing that route to Devin Funches on a first and 10 situation. You're going to see that he's going to go a lot deeper, and he's almost on kind of like a little skinny, um, skinny post and crossing route combination. 
you're going to see against that cover three. There it is once again. And what's interesting to understand is you see there it's a one play touchdown. What's really interesting about this play is if they deep half on the right side, which is very, very frequent, because essentially what you want to do with this is you would want to run this, um, you would want to run the left side crossing route to the wide side. So you would basically want to run this flipped if you were on the right hash, but you'd want to run it normal if you're on the left hash. Okay. But what you'll notice here is if they run that cover two on one side and cover three on the other side, you'll see that this route will absolutely torch cover three over the top of the defense, as you can see right there. Now, let's say that they don't. Let's say that they're just running like a traditional uh, cover three defense, and that's it. Okay, I just want to show you really quickly, and then we're going to cover man coverage for this play. Um, what's going to happen? So if you smart route Funchess, he's going to basically pull that that's um, outside third, leaving that window right there to hit that crossing route. So you have two really powerful options um, for any type of cover three that somebody might do. Now you might be asking, well, what about man coverage, right? What about man coverage? Man coverage, actually relatively easy to beat from this. Again, we're gonna smart route Funches. Um, you don't have to, you can leave him on his route stock if you want to, um, but sometimes it does help to smart route him. But anyway, what you'll see is these crossing routes absolutely towards the man-to-man -man coverage. As you can see right there, Devontae Adams gets wide open against man-to-man -man coverage. And then Devin Funches doesn't have like the greatest route running, but he'll still do a really good job against man-to-man -man coverage. He's going to get inside position, and on that first cut right there, you're going to see he's going to get open. So you have two really quick reads that are very effective against man. And then the next thing that you're going to have is obviously you have your um, your little crossing route right here to triangle. Little it's basically like mesh. They have the crossing routes coming over over um, the formation. And then Mercedes Lewis, he's not going to do a great job of beating man, but I'd probably sub in like Robert Tunyon. But you do see, I mean, he does beat man to man if it's a linebacker or if it's a defensive end or something like that. He's going to beat his man. And honestly, if you notice, he gets a little bit of a delay, meaning he's not going to run out like quick. Um, he's going to sit for a second and then go, and that's actually a really, really good trait of this of this play. It's going to help him beat man to man a lot better. So, uh, what about purples, right? You might say, well, well, what they're going to obviously do if they're running this defense is they're going to do something like that right there because they're going to have the purples to try to take away these crossing routes. Well, once again, like we said, these crossing routes are different different depths. So if you see this cover zero look, you can basically throw that with the pass lead upside or up, and you're going to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage over the top for a one-play touchdown. The next thing that you'll be able to see is, let's say that they run the purples, right? But let's say that they do something like this, right? A roll coverage. Essentially, they're going to play cover one, so they can take away that post route, and they're going to play cover um, that little uh, curl flat, so that they can take away the crossing route to Devontae Adams. Well, again, like we talked about, these crossing routes go really, really deep. So you see here, he's going to get over the top of that purple zone, allowing you another window to be able to hit these routes. These are really, really difficult routes to stop, in my opinion. There's a very specific defense that, that the user has to basically um, guard one and then go to one. And if they mess up their user, they could really, really seriously uh, struggle to stop this play. But as you can see here, Devontae Adams, once he gets to that, if you see a purple out there, just pass lead him up, and it's going to be an absolute laser against the man-to-man -man coverage. So that is the PA uh, zone read play from the running gun. The running gun is the only playbook in the game that has that. And the beauty is you can mix that in with these really, really good staple plays from gun doubles. This fake jet pass power, in my opinion, is one of the best runs in the game. If you have Michael Vick in Mutt and you run it, you don't need fast break or anything. If you have fast break, it will help the play. But you don't need anything to run this play. Literally, you're just running straight forward with your quarterback at the snap of the ball. Even Aaron Rodgers can run this. Heck, even Rich Gannon would be able, Rich Gannon would be able to run this really, really well. And then you have all of these different things off of it. For example, this little jet touch pass right here you get really really good blocking from it because your tight end is on the line of scrimmage as opposed to being offset in some doubles formations and then of course you have your inside zone read option so just a simple read option play looks like everything looks exactly the same which is really really good and really really effective um, for for this play and then of course you have your jet touch pass in my opinion this is probably one of the best jet touch passes in the entire game because you just get really good blocking you see we get a seal here and a seal there and we're going to get an easy three to five to seven to potentially a touchdown based on what defense the defense plays so that's 
this little gun doubles mini scheme out of the running gun playbook i think it's one of the best um best gun i think it's the best gun doubles in the game just because of how powerful this play right here is i mean it, it's such a good play um especially against like cover three and things like that you know you just have such good quick reads against the blitz like it's just a really difficult play to shut down um there's a lot that you can do with it and then of course you have all of those little running plays off of it um, and there's some more passing plays in that playbook as well that are very very effective so wanted to break that down for you today i hope you enjoyed the video now really quickly before you take off if you have not joined the text message membership yet i would encourage you to go ahead and shoot me a shoot me a message again my number is in the description but basically what we do every single week is we give away free 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 full schemes okay so very very high level schemes and you're going to get them completely for free so you're watching the mcs a lot of the stuff they're doing we're breaking down for you uh 100 per for free so if you haven't picked it up yet shoot me a text message it's super super simple literally takes you five seconds all you do is pull out your phone you type in 812-216-3644 and say hey cody what's up i'd like to receive the videos it is my personal cell phone number it's not an automated system so it will take me a little bit to respond. You're not going to get like an automatic response or anything because um, it is my personal phone number. So just as soon as I get to it, I'll shoot you a text back. Thank you guys so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, our next video is going to go live at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern time tonight. So our next tip breakdown will be at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern time tonight. Got a really, really good uh, tip planned for you on the defensive side of the ball. Really excited to share this with you. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later tonight.